diamonds. The word alone evokes potent symbolism. From the unimaginable power of the forces that create these precious stones, to their unparalleled strength and durability, to their indelible association with the most powerful human emotion, love. Born billions of years ago, diamonds have captivated our imagination throughout human history. Botswana, in particular, has a special place in its heart for this magical stone. Diamonds have assisted its transformation from one of the least developed countries in the world to a glittering success story. The future of the country looked very uh, bleak uh, before the discovery of diamonds. It was so bleak uh, that uh, uh, some people asked whether we were brave or foolish uh, to want to be independent. New capital, Gaborone, the national flag is unfurled amidst much enthusiasm. Good luck, Botswana. Our best wishes go with you. The birth of Botswana's diamond dream, sparked by the discovery of the Orapa pipe by De Beers geologists, came shortly after the country's independence. The second major find by the De Beers prospecting team, Juaneng Mine, propelled Debswana to becoming the world's leading diamond producer by value. Debswana is the largest private sector employer in the country and its revenues have played a major role in building Botswana's infrastructure, health and education sectors. Debswana's contribution to Botswana's economy over the past five decades has been significant. It is the major contributor to the national economy, contributing 33% to GDP, 70% to export earnings and 32% to government revenue. Deb Swana's long-term focus on the sustainability of its business will maintain the lives of its operations and the communities around which they operate for many years to come. Deb Swana, mining diamonds and enriching the nation for 50 years. His Excellency Albert Mochanga, Commissioner of Trade and Industry of African Union Commission, Honorable Lefuko Maxol Mwaki, Minister of Botswana in the Minister of Mineral Resources, Green Technology, and energy security. His Excellency Aziz Rabah, Minister of Morocco in the Ministry of Energy, Mines and Environment. Honorable Ku of Lesotho in the Ministry of Mining. Honorable Kashab, Deputy Minister of, of in the Mini, Deputy Minister in the Ministry of Petroleum and Mineral Resources in Egypt. Honorable Francis Gatara, CEO of Rwanda Mines Petroleum and Gas Port. Fellow mining executives, director of ceremonies, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Director of ceremony, I'm honored to welcome our delegates to the 2020 African Mining Summit, despite us being in an unconventional setting. Indeed, the challenges brought by the COVID-19 pandemic have catapulted us into uncharted but thankfully progressive territories. Since the pandemic broke, we have seen governments, institutions, and organizations think creatively and innovatively in order to respond effectively to the emerging challenges. Whilst the reality we all find ourselves in may be unsettling, it is nonetheless an interesting one, which we have had to embrace and adapt to at a lightning speed in order to remain on course towards realizing our long-term ambitions as the extractive industry. COVID-19 may have disrupted our businesses for a while, but it has at the same time instilled within us 
a new awakening, renewed vigor and inspiration, and inspiration to take mining to the next best level. I'm excited to see such a diverse panel of speakers from the various sectors of, of our industry, and I look forward to the shared learnings that will transpire. Ladies and gentlemen, as we listen, as we listen into the deliberations going forward, let us keep in mind the grand objective of this conference and the aspirations that bring us together as a collective. As an example, we need to ensure that networking, we need to ensure that networking to form collaborative partnership for a sustainable future of mining. As our conference chairman, Alan Glenn has stated, the continuing and growing level of alignment and understanding between each other as stakeholders that has been and continues to be achieved through this conference will enable our continent to deliver the required commodity development opportunity, both in the immediate term and coming decade. Ladies and gentlemen, Africa is capable and Africa can deliver. Ladies and gentlemen, as the Botswana Mining Company, like many other organizations worldwide, facing the prevailing business climate, we look at this period as a period of transition and self-renewal. This is an imperative. And the writing is on the wall for the diamond mining sector. We therefore need to radically transform ourselves to align ourselves to the challenging economic climate. This, uh, the global business currently faces uh, geopolitical uncertainties and market volatility. The demand for diamonds is under immense pressure. There is a clear consumer generational shift. There are structural challenges in the midstream business. And the global pace of change is extremely high. There is pressure to reduce carbon footprint and address climate change issues. It is through this summit and similar others that will be able to find the solutions together to tackle such challenges as the above in a coordinated and effective manner. The AMS serves us well as its objectives are aligned with the key strategic levers that we have set for ourselves uh, in Jepson. And these are diversification and partnerships. We aim to derive value from closer collaboration with the relevant stakeholders. Secondly, innovation and technology. We will drive change and transform and transformation in achieving operational efficiency and productivity improvement. Thirdly, responsible and efficient mining. We will optimize diamond resources to extend the life of mine. The fourth one is empowered communities. We will make a positive impact in our communities through empowerment, and making a lasting difference. The fifth one is green economy. We will strive to achieve zero harm and ensuring sustainable production. And lastly, is knowledge economy, where we will harness the diversified skills of the workforce to create increasing value. Connecting with the nation's vision 2036, which aspires to drive economic growth through knowledge creation. In closing, Director of Ceremonies, I wish to thank everyone that put this event together. Your unwavering passion and hard work has made this great networking opportunity possible without fail for the past six years. And most importantly, this year, where many events of this statute have failed to take off for obvious reasons. For that reason, Debswana is a proud sponsor of AMS 2020. And I wish all the Congress a wonderful virtual experience. Thank you.